This visual guide is meant for only the old 2DS and firmware 11.17.0-50U. If you do not have the old 2DS and this specific firmware, do not follow this guide. First, let's turn off our 2DS. And now while holding select and not releasing it, we're gonna turn on the 2DS. If it loads like a normal 2DS, then you do not have a modded console and we can continue. So next we'll go to system settings and check the firmware to be 11.17.0-50U. Now we can turn off the 2DS. We're gonna put our SD card into our 2DS and we're gonna turn on the 2DS. We're going to start Me Maker, and if you see this pop-up showing that the necessary data has been created, we're on the right track. Next, we're going to turn off our 2DS and put our SD card into the computer. Download the Python and the MSET9 zip links in the description down below. Next, we're going to move everything inside of the MSET9 zip folder to the root of the SD card. Next, we're going to double click the mset9.bat file. We're going to get a prompt from our terminal and we will type one and enter. We will type one again to make sure the console is prepared for mset9 and enter. If everything you see appears to be functional, we can move on. Put your SD card back into your 2DS and turn on your 2DS. This next section, you will need to follow exactly what I do. Hover over system settings just using the D-pad. Now turn off your 2DS, then turn it back on. We're going to launch system settings using just the A button. Then we're going to go to data management, Nintendo 3DS, and extra data. Do not press any buttons or touch the screen in that you can see the Me Maker icon. While the 2DS is still on, without pressing any buttons or touching the screen, remove your SD card. The menu is going to say that there's no SD card inserted anymore. Next, we're going to put our SD card into our computer. Double click the mset9.bat file. Type one and enter. Next, type two and enter to inject the payload. You should see that it was successful. Press enter to close the script. Put your SD card back into your 2DS without pressing any buttons or touching the screen. If it was successful, it will boot into the safe B9 installer. Enter the key combo on your 2DS. Press A to reboot your 2DS. Your console will boot into a Luma 3DS configuration menu and you'll leave all the options and settings as is. Press start to save and reboot. Power off your 2DS. Put your SD card into your computer. Double click MSET9. Press one and enter. Next, press three and enter. You should see it was successfully removed. Now press enter to close the script. Luma 3DS does not look any different from the normal home menu. If your console has booted into the home menu, it's running the custom firmware. Download the final zip in the description. Turn off your 2DS. Put your SD card into your computer. Copy the contents inside of the finalizing zip to the root of your SD card. Merge or replace folders if prompted. Put your SD card back into your 2DS. Hold the select button while turning your 2DS on. Your console should have booted into the Luma 3DS configuration menu. Press start to save and reboot. Go to system settings, then to other settings, then to system update. Update your 2DS. Next, go to the home menu. Press left shoulder plus D-pad down plus select at the same time to open the Rosalina menu. Go to miscellaneous options, dump DSP firmware, press B, select nullify user time offset, press B to continue, 
press B to return to the Rosalina main menu. Press B to exit the Rosalina menu. Turn off your 2DS. Press and hold start while turning on your 2DS. If you are prompted to make essential backup files, press A, then press A again. If you are prompted to fix the RTC date and time, press A to do so, then set the time and date, then press A. Press home to bring up the action menu. Go to scripts, then finalize. Press A, press A, then enter the key combination. Once the script says setup complete, press A to power off the device. Put your SD card into your computer. Copy the GM9 backups folder to a safe location on your computer. If you still have the two sysnan files in the GM9 backups folder, you can delete those from your SD card. Put your SD card back into your 2DS. And now that you have a modded 2DS, you can watch this video right here on what homebrew apps you should get next on your new modded console.